Hello, this is your friendly, friendly nurse, Annie Health Coach, and I'm coming to you today on sea moss. Sea moss, they call it sea moss, Irish moss, red uh, seaweed, some people call it. And it's used in many forms. It's grown in Europe, the British Isles, North America, along the coastline. It's very, 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 very full of minerals. About 92 minerals in all is in sea moss. That's what makes it so rich. And it does so much stuff to the body. It's called a, a got a, a substance in it called carotene, carotene. And carotene is a substance that thicken ice cream, of um, uh, uh, yogurt, uh, stuff like that, non-dairy product stuff. It makes it thicker. When we want something thicker, we don't want it liquid. They use the carotene out of the sea moss, even for cottage cheese, toothpaste, um, shoe polish to make it thicker, jelly to make it thicker. They use all this stuff coming out of sea moss. They're carotene. And carotene, again, is very, very popular to use uh, in a lot of our foods and pastry and make stuff uh, like a pastry. You put it with water, it, it get pastry and you put it in your smoothie. So sea moss have many, many ways you can use it by liquid drops, uh, uh, capsules, but you don't support to take but one serving a day. Like one tablespoon if you're taking it in there powder-wise. If you, it, it, some people mix it to a drink. If you make it to a drink, you make it into a, a lotion or a cream for your body. You make it to a gel. And people that like gummies, like children-wise, they take sea moss and make it into a gummy. Sea moss have become more and more popular, especially after people find out how important their immune system is. Because it helps the immune system a whole lot. But it's 92 minerals, that includes vitamin, vitamin B2, uh, calcium, which is going to help your bones. And about 93% of people does not take enough calcium anyway for the body, for the heart. For your brain health, for your food digesting, and as I say, I take magnesium at night, and I get up in the morning, I have a regular bowel movement. It's over 600 cells in your body that magnesium helps. That's how important magnesium is. It helps also with muscles. Help you build your muscles, smooth your muscles out. It's the most uh, fourth like abundant uh, mineral in your body that you need, magnesium. And a majority of people does not take magnesium. I've asked many people lately and they said, no, I don't take magnesium. But they take aspirin, they take vitamin C. And of course, a lot of people don't take vitamin D. Uh, and I'm like, well, magnesium enhances the help in the vitamin C. It enhances the help in the vitamin D work right. It does a lot of health functions in your body. It's your heart, your lungs, maintain your brain function. Anything maintain our brain function, we should make more, make more and more want more of it. So, it's full of magnesium. Sea moss is. Sea moss also called a uh, leafy red. It's red. Sometimes it's red. Sometimes it's yellow. It comes in different colors. Sea moss does. 
red, yellow, and, and uh, uh, green, or even green. They come in different, 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 different colors. Sea moss does, which is the Irish marsh moss, or red seaweed, if you want to say it like that. And it helps a lot with that thyroid. Rich in fiber. It helps good bacteria build up in your body. It also a photonutrient. Photonutrients is those uh, substances that neutralize those free radicals in your body that go in and cause uh, problems in your body. Uh, the unformed molecules that's not don't cause life; they cause death. And a lot of cancer is caused by free radicals. So it's a photonutrient. Neutralizing those free radicals help those cells get back to where they need to be at after those free radicals have caused damage to those cells. So this is very, very important um, thing to take is sea moss. And sea moss uh, grows all over, as I said, the America, North America, and the, uh, the British Isles, the Europe, the Atlantic Ocean, the Caribbean, and people don't even realize what it is. A lot of people don't, but the people that stay there, the native people, are uh, beginning to. The, find out more and more about sea moss and the importance of sea moss. You want to balance that blood sugar? It'll help balance that blood sugar too. And by it being a prebiotic, which prebiotics helps your good bacteria, feeds your good bacteria, your healthy gut. So you got to feed that health, that gut to be healthy because the gut is your second brain. We got this brain up here and the brain down here in the gut. And both of them we have to protect. We have to make sure that they are working properly. Making sure that that the, the nutrients that we take in, the fluid that then we take in is going through properly digestion system and coming out where it needs to be coming out. That's all sea moss. Sea moss is getting more and more popular. Everybody is finding out more and more about sea moss, even since, since the COVID. A lot of people have been taking that sea moss because they want to make sure that immune system is built up. Well, you want to make sure also that sea moss have been uh, dried out and tested at least three times. Because sea moss can have some lead, uh, mercury in it, heavy, heavy, heavy toxic metals in it. Even arsenic is in sea moss. So you got to make sure it's tested at least three times before you use it. Look on there and see how many times it has been tested. It can be very beneficial if you're taking it right. Sea moss can. But if you're not taking the right kind of sea moss, it's not been tested, and it have not been tested it three times, it need to be tested. You can run into some, some toxic matter in your body and cause more harm than good in your body. Because remember, a lot of heavy metals in your body can lead to death. So you got to be very particular on your sea moss and make sure you're getting the right kind of sea moss and the sea moss that have been tested at least three times before you begin to use it. And I told you the different forms that it does come in. And through putting in those different forms, the liquid capsule, gel, gummy, uh, the pastry, uh, the drink, the lotion, of the the cream, they should have been tested three times prior 
to it becoming in that um, state. So we're going to talk more on CMOS. When I come back on the pros and the cons of CMOS, our Irish Moss. We love you. Don't forget to like and subscribe.